If you're using Confluence to track tasks, but you're feeling a little overwhelmed because you have tasks all over the place and you want a centralized singular view to see all of your tasks, you've come to the right video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Please make sure you drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Confluence and show you how to do this. First, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a background. I do have a separate video that I created months ago where I showed you how to enable action items or how to track tasks. And so I'm just gonna simply create a couple of tasks here in an existing page. Now, there is a video, it's in the link in the description below, so make sure you watch that video because that will show you how to add action items to any page. But this video, I wanna take existing action items and I'm gonna show you how to roll them all up in one view. So I'm gonna go, this is an action. I'm gonna tag myself and I'm gonna put a due date for it. And I'm gonna hit publish. Now, this by itself is not really awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to this client demo page. I'm gonna click on this edit page here and I'm gonna add an action item. So I'm just gonna click up here, click action item. And this is gonna allow me to basically add an action. Now this is not the place that I would wanna have an action, but again, this is another action. I'm gonna tag myself again and I'm gonna put a due date of next week. And that's it, I'm gonna hit publish on that. Now, obviously this is gonna be better if you have a lot of different tasks in a lot of different places, but just having a couple for the purpose of this demo is gonna be enough to show you the real critical part, which is what I'm gonna do next. So what you wanna do next is you wanna create a brand new page, and I'm just gonna click on this pages over here, and I'm gonna click on this plus sign. Where you create this page is somewhat important, and I'm gonna show you and give you more details in a second. But for now, just create a page, and we're gonna put it at the highest root level, which is gonna be at the top of the tree. So when we do that, we're gonna be greeted with a blank page. So this is where we're gonna just do all teams tasks. And down here, that's the title, down here, we're not gonna click on this little plus button and we're gonna type in task. Now you'll notice that we have this thing called a task report. This is what you were looking for. You're gonna wanna click on that. And now we gotta do some configurations. So now you gotta tell basically Confluence and this gadget here, what do we want to see? Where's all the stuff at? Where, where, what's relevant? And so we're going to click the current space. You can be very specific into your spaces, but I'm just going to click very just current space so that it only brings it from one, but just know that you can actually bring tasks from other spaces, but things just get a little bit more complex and a little bit more complicated at that point. So just proceed with caution. Just know that you have the option to do that next you may be bringing in everybody's work at that point because anywhere that anybody creates a task using the actions functionality, there's gonna be tasks everywhere. So you might not want everybody's business. So you might wanna be very, very particular and you can actually add labels to the pages that you're actually tracking the tasks that are relevant to you. And now you can modify this setting here so that you can actually only bring back the labels that are important to you. Now, I don't have any labels here, but I just wanted to call that out because as you can already see, I have a lot of tasks that are coming back and I might not want these bottom ones. So in order to fix this, I would actually add a label to these two pages and tell Confluence, hey Confluence, only bring me back the tasks that are under pages that have this label. And so that's how you would do that. Additionally, and I made this go away accidentally, Additionally, you can also just pick specific people that are assigned to. So maybe, maybe you don't want a label. Maybe you want to see every task that's assigned to you, regardless of which page it's in, because other teams may be assigning work to you, or you may be assigning work to other folks from other teams, and you just want a centralized view for that one individual. So with that, you can explicitly call out just the person's name. So I'm gonna put my name here. And then Confluence is going to update so that it only shows the ones where assignee equals that person. So many different ways to skin the cat, right? So you really kind of have to figure out what do you want to see? Do you want to see the tasks for your entire team? In which case you might want to use the label route so that you just see the pages that are important to you. Maybe you just want to see everything. So call out the space. Maybe you just want to see the ones assigned to a specific person. We can do that. You can also do the creative by so you can select, hey, just show me the ones that I created. So 
me as the scrum master or whatever role I am, maybe you just want to show the tasks that I've created for my team. So you can do that. You can also select a specific date. You could also only bring in the incomplete or the complete ones. You can also limit how many tasks are going to be shown through the page with 40 being the limit. Um, and you can also control now the columns. So by default, you're going to get this description, the due date, assignee, and the page that the task appears on. You can add a couple more things here, like the label, the location, and a couple of other things. And then you can sort by due date. Now, what's really cool about the sort by due date, you'll notice that when something's due today or within the next week, it's going to be one color. When an issue is overdue, it'll be a different color. And when an issue is like really far out, like over a week, it'll be a completely different color as well. So the colors you don't have a lot of control over, but just know that they are going to be changing on you depending on the proximity and the urgency of that due date. Also, if you don't have due dates, obviously you won't get this functionality and those fields are just going to be blank. So it's really, really cool though. I really like this because once you hit publish, then you don't have to go digging for all the pages where your tasks are held. You just come to this main all teams tasks. And now from here, you can navigate to where you need to go to. You can also, which I really, really like, you can click this checkbox and cross it out there. That way you don't have to, again, go hunting for these tasks. You have one aggregated single view where everything's just being fed and funneled in. And now you can do decisions here. If, however, you did want to go to that location, you can always click on this one here on this link. And this is going to take you to the page where that task was originally created. As you can see from earlier in the video, this is indeed where I had made it. So this is really neat. I really like this method because again, it just simplifies things. I create so many tasks sometimes here within Confluence because it's a little bit easier than going into Jira because not everything always has to go into Jira. Not everything needs to be a story or a bigger task over there. Sometimes you just need like some quick turnarounds. Hey, in the next couple of hours, go do me this. Or by next week, by the time we meet up next week, make sure you have these things done. And sometimes those items are not project related. Sometimes they're just not something that would warrant spooling up an actual issue inside of Jira. And so the tasks in Confluence are a great way to give people action items without also sending them to another tool, but also keeping all that work within the context of that meeting or event that was taking place. The problem becomes is when you have too many action items across various pages, across various different meetings, it can get a little overwhelming to have to go to every single meeting page to find all those tasks. So this hopefully solves that problem for you where you just get one singular view in order to see everything. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you found value in this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.